Hi, welcome again and we are learning hosting management with ISP config. This is the second video of this course and today we will explore the dashboard to see the features ISP config offering us. To enable all the main modules on this dashboard, we need to go to the system, then server services, we need to click the server host name and here we can enable or disable any modules. Now click save and let's start from the home. We will get this interface just after login. At first we should see the appeal from the ISP config for the donation of this project. As it is an open source software we all should participate with its development. And as it says if you can make a donation as a bonus we will get a copy of the current ISP config manual. Now on the left side we can see the latest news. We will get various announcements from ISP config like latest software release, when we install the software, any new tutorial published on the how to forge etc. And here we see all the available modules. We can jump into any section from here. Below is the monitoring section of the resources assigned and consumed by the current logged in user. So this whole home view will be changed according to user's permission and limit. We may not see all the modules here for other user. Only permitted will be shown. We will see this behavior as we go through the course. Now let's go to the client section. On the client view, we can add and edit any client or reseller from here. On ISP config, we have three types of user. Control panel user, client and reseller. Client and resellers are entitled to hosting management. We can assign hosting package and quota to client and reseller. Reseller can further create its own clients. We will see client management in detail on a separate video. And control panel user are admin user. And they are only for the ISP config administration purpose. Client, reseller and delegated admins can log into ISP config with their own user credential. On the messaging, we can create various groups for the clients and resellers and then we can send email messages to them. On the template, we can create various templates for allowable resource limits and later assign to them during client and reseller creation time. We will see this in practical on client and reseller video. On the site, we can create website, database, FTP access, CLA access to website space and see the statistics and monitoring of the resources usage. We can create website for main domain create subdomains or alias domains. Particular website will provide more option and features related to that website. I will describe in detail each of these options when we will work with this. On the email, we can host multiple domain email. Unlimited user per domain can be created. We can do all sort of email management from here. We can see domain alias, email mailbox, email alias, email forward, mailing list, spam filter management, fetch mail, XMPP chat server, mailbox quota, postfix whitelist, backlist, everything we can manage from this interface. I will explain each of these options and we will work with this in detail on later videos. On the DNS, we can create zone with wizard or manually or we can import zone file to create the zone. On each zone, we will get the options to create various records. We can create zone template, zones, secondary DNS zones. I'll show you how to configure primary and secondary zones. And we will work with these in detail on the DNS section of this course. vServer, we can create virtual machines from ISP config. So ISP config can be used as a virtual machine manager also. Currently, OpenVZ technology will be used for the virtual machines. I will not go further on this module. My main objective is to elaborate the DNS, email and web hosting only. But if you like, you can go ahead and read the manuals to configure this module properly. On the monitoring, we can monitor the system, the server, uh, log files, hardware statistics, everything we can monitor from here. On our day-to-day -day operation, we will check the logs and see the statistics from here. We have to come back to this section several times during the course. 
on the help uh, we can send messages to client view messages create FAQ we can see the version manage sections FAQ section send messages view messages so this is the help on the tools we can change user password import email settings from another ISP config import DNS records from power DNS resync configuration of all the servers so this is the tools section and on the system we can create system user remote user for api calls we can change server config of each services change ip address additional php support interface configurations so this is the main configuration area for the whole system add or remove the language import export do os update isp config update upgrade we can do the whole system maintenance from this location so these are the overall features isp config provides and on each section we will see and use related features to get more knowledge on the topics so this is it for now i will describe each section in very detail on the upcoming videos i'll see you on the next video bye